Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We're going to be playing through episode 2 today. Episode 1 was quite a thriller, right? I really enjoyed episode 1. Um, it's Telltale Games, man. I don't know. You know, I didn't expect anything less from them. They're really good at what they do, and I'm really enjoying this game. So let's just jump right into episode 2 and see where the story takes us. Mr. Toad? Do something, Bigby! Before he completely tears up the place! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid c- You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm Dean. He's dumb. But he said if all of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, Miss White would come back and kill more. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl named Fuck, man. This fucking lab dog. Come sniffing around this place. Fucks in the woman's need to shake down. That right, Big B. Out of everything I did last episode, that is the only thing I regret. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. I can't believe Snow died. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Hmm. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Yeah, sometimes. Of course. You're exactly. Right. I can't she don't imagine know. what you're going through yeah. right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Exactly. If you're if you're gonna say that, you better have something similar to relate to. Your don't just bleeding. don't just say it. I'm Detective Brannigan. She's, 
She's looking crazy. I should have called her out on it. Alright then, um, I don't know what that was, so what happened? We have to go, now! What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 oh, hours. Oh wow, so he did this. He did this, okay. Woodlands. Well, hurry up. Oh hey Blaze, how's it going? Um, man, I just started. I just started playing this. Like I, I just got on this game. I'll, I'll play it later. Up on tech, yeah, I'll play later. We need to set a schedule so we can actually play. Like agree on a time. Look like Cloud Eight. No, I don't. Doesn't change. Let's see. Hmm. I'll thank him. Yeah. Thanks for bailing me out. Certainly. We um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. So was I. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he hasn't said anything useful. And Big B, we have to tread carefully As here. A brother. We can't implicate an innocent man. And people are already worried about your conduct. There's two of them, D and Dunn. And they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I think they could be. Because I know the woodsman didn't kill Snow because he was he was at the bar when Snow got killed, so um I know what yeah. you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Crane will remember that. Our stories that. used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... Hmm. I guess fine, I suppose. She wanted to change things. She could come off yeah. as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She <clears throat> said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help. I don't want to tell him straight up that he was... That she was kind of frustrated with him, so... I'm gonna keep it... Kind of low key right now. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby, for Miss White. I got it. Dang. That's some power. Trophy earned right to an attorney. Okay. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. 
Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us Bluebeard. to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! I don't remember seeing him last episode what at all. Say, Ichabod? Why is he bluebeard? He doesn't have a blue I beard. Answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh. Do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. Yeah, but where's his brother? I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girl's got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air, especially with this heat. All right, uh, this guy, yeah. Have to find some place to cool off. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. All right. <clears throat> this is getting old very quick. I should have let him to talk. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look. Nah, you gotta look. Just put that away. Please. This is why we're here. Someone killed this woman, and we need to know who. I get it, I do, but I can't tell you what I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know the killer, but he probably knows something. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Big B, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. You got Same D talking, you. okay. Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much money is there, D? I should be leading the interrogation. We can. You Have always that. carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do. Oh, this laundry. Week. What's it to you? Put down the money, pocket the money. I better get that back. I don't yeah, I don't I don't have need for it. I'll I'll put it down. I'm not gonna steal his money. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. Oh I yeah. I don't Faith. know where he is now. But he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You mentioned Faith? Look. I went to her apartment. Exactly. That's no okay. secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying okay. any more about it. Uh, 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 all right. Are you done yet? I'm getting old over here. All right, maybe another punch will get him talking. So, this is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Hey, I, I'm under control. I'm under control. That was two. I don't want to do anything more excessive. What did you want from Faith? That was only two. I shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh, yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. That's enough. 
What did she steal? It must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. I got him talking again. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Mm -mm -mm. He's just going too far with this. You strap. Sometimes you have to play the bad cop. You know that. Well, let, let's try the straps. Let's see. Let's see what happens. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was wrong about you! You're just a sick beauty! Beauty! Okay. Shit. Oh, we're good. He's friend. uh he's spilling everything. That's enough. I will not tell No no no, we're close. Cemetery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. If it weren't for you, Snow might still be alive. Fuck you! Don't put this on me! What's going on down here? What is this? What happened? What? I'm so confused. What happened? What? 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 Okay. Um. All right. I don't. I don't know what to say about that. Uh, Yeah. She can't have a twin. What the heck? Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. So, so, Smoke and Mirrors, is that somehow related to snow appearing before my eyes right now? Why is he still sleeping? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? So... I hope it was worth your time. See, what's, go uh, what's going on? Um... Triangle, yeah. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. So hold on, so maybe... Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're not okay. dead. Okay. Me too. Snow noticed that, okay. I just want to get to the bottom of this. So I'm assuming I just some... feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Well, that answers that. I was gonna say, uh... Um... If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? 
We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting no, for no, I want her, I want her to, to work with my me. Problems? Because that's what my job is right now. That's not what I meant. Well, then what did you mean? Work with me. I that's, told you, uh... I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh, wow. Really? <laughs> Makes sense, but, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, she knows what he meant. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Correct. And I've been doing uh, it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. What? Just be nice, okay? <laughs> I'm always nice. Right, so what I was going to say is that um, before she said that another girl that looked like her was killed, I thought some type of magic was used to fake her death and make it pretty convincing. So, uh, well, we have our answers now. And I got a trophy, Breaking Point. TJ's nice. over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin. Buffkin? Do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Man, this game just played with my emotions. Like, episode one, I was so upset that Snow died and now she's alive. And acids. <clears throat> Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. So just gonna explore around here, trying to not miss any clues, tarot cards. Maybe these can't solve murders. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that's appropriate. Three of Swords. The Moon. Usually this is about deception or confusion. But mm -hmm. for me, well, who knows? I hope you can find what you're looking the for. The Hermit. Okay, so he didn't keep any today. Perfume bottle. Let's look at the perfume bottle. Where is it? Snow's perfume. Okay. Let's talk to Snow and Buffkin. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Not yet, not yet, not yet. In a minute. When you're ready. I want to talk to the mirror. I want to see what he says. Um, where's the mirror? That way. Look at Toad and TJ. Okay. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. No way. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Well, why is he standing there? Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. She sounds like I'll a phone rep. Speak with from you about like, your concerns later, but you must understand how She sounds exactly like a customer service agent. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. 
Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. Man, I wouldn't hurt a kid, but it's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. Mm -hmm. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, son. He's not gonna let me. Yeah. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The oh. lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was gonna pull me down too, cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to. But I was scared, mm -hmm. and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight, or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> if someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you Toad will remember water. that. I don't know if anyone saw me. But, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said, they said, stop laughing at me. Hmm. Did you see who it was? No. Sheriff. Whose voice? Do you know whose voice it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Bigby. I think that's good enough, I think. Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Man. That's interesting. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute, yeah, we need. We still need to talk to the the mirror. I almost forgot about the mirror. When you're ready, it's the last thing we need to do in this section. Then I'll go see the body. They almost got me with that. I was about to say yes. Lamp. Not gonna do anything. Talk to the mirror. By the way, Toad said I was. Uh, you know, Toad got mad because of how I was treating D. But I didn't really do much. I hit him twice, and I tightened his belts uh, the straps I probably could have done a lot worse but I didn't hey mirror hello Big B 
Nice to see you. You probably knew Snow was alive the whole time, didn't you? Possibly so, but the moment has passed. You didn't rhyme, and you never asked. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Man, I only had one question, one choice for the previous segment. Ugh. All right, I could have, should have done something else. All right. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. He's drinking. Well, that's helpful. Yeah. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. I was creative. Dude's looking mad suspicious right now. What the heck? That's all I could do. I feel like something's gotta happen eventually with that. Probably not, but... Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Also, I'd like you to get me some information on this neighborhood watch program that the Mundys have. I believe I already have some pamphlets on file. You want to go look at the body now? Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. Witching well chamber, the woodland building. Okay. Alright, so based on what's been happening so far, I think I can rule out the woodsman because Man, she looks just like her. What's the difference? can't see any difference wow i didn't realize i've never seen her face before now you're gonna be okay you don't have to stay i want to stay i'll be fine it's just a little strange the glamour is so effective it's invasive but just do what you need to do Yeah, let's exa I want to see if there's any difference in her facial features. Her I mouth? doubt it. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Could be. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Usually when, you know, when serial killers kill, they leave um they leave behind certain traits that uh, policemen can associate with them, you know? That's I weird. don't see anything yet, though. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Could be. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? <laughs> you can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. I'm gonna keep examining, see see anything else that comes Can up. You see that? 
See what? Be a bruise. Oh. Is there anything else on her body? No. Okay, exit. All right, let's go to the legs. Track marks. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. <laughs> Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegal? I think so. Underground. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for Yeah, underground black market. I so. Yeah. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Let's look at the buttons. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. So she has four buttons and Snow has two. Making progress. Let's see what else we can find. I well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself. I hate this guy here. I don't hate him, but now that you're done punching people, he's uh. What have you found out? Whatever. Well, I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Lingerie. Pocket. Pocket. Are you wearing silk lingerie, Snow? Why do you want to know? Just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. All right. <clears throat> oh, there's her perfume. Use this. Okay. What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it is. That was a weird dangerous. cut. Okay. Don't you think? You worry too much, Crane. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Crack it open. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm going to try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, no. We're going to have to do a puzzle in this game. I hate puzzles. All right. Just match up the figure. Um, okay. Hold on. Just move this. All right. All right. There we go. <clears throat> now go to the last one. That was easy. First try. Here. What does that mean? Oh. It's a picture and hair. Is that hair? Okay. 
Is that... It's your hair. Oh, she looked pissed. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Huh. We legit got trolled. Um. Holy shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I never I examined her ankle. The cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Yeah, we can. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. Yes. You ready? Yeah. I like Snow. Let's, yeah, we need to work together. Now, I never did examine her ankle, so now that's kind of going to bug me the entire game. Because it's probably some, I don't know, might have been a good idea to do that. Trip Trap Bar, the Bronx, or This whole evening. thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Dang, dude looks scared. <laughs> so does she. <laughs> Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Yeah, uh huh? Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Good. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Alright. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. Okay, so he fable, knows. Right? Oh, everyone knows. Everyone knows, apparently. Tweedle D was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. He's still supposed to be in custody. Crane. Sorry. Tweedle D said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails <clears throat> go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. 
Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. I just want to talk to Ren's Holly, sister. man. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. What is this guy's problem? Oh, he was, uh, I thought he was uh, talking to God Big B. Damn Never mind. It. Of Never mind. course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? You'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us. She might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. I have to ask Holly some questions. Christ, give her five minutes. Okay, never mind. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Covered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. It could be evidence and it could be important, but Grim. right now we kind of yeah. need a take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? It'd be. Sympathetic with her. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. Sup, Tree? How, how's it going? Whole club, the pudding and pie. Thanks for stopping by. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Fees, huh? What kind of fees? Sounds like one of those old company store kinds of ploys, designed to entrap people by keeping them in debt. We can probably learn more at the club. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? Huh. Well, I... hmm. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. But that's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. 
Ah, oh, man. World shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. Okay. Good. You promised go Holly the, the body. Okay. And so start making the necessary preparations. All right. I think I'm being too kind right now. Because her body okay. is evidence. I'll go down there now. So see what I can find out from the owner. I don't you know. You are good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Heck is that? Yeah, well. Uh, got a trophy earned, sisters. It's a quality way to play the game. Yeah. Have you played this before? Only up up to episode two. I watched the rest of it. Okay, so you know what happens exactly. Oh. Was too bothered to buy the rest of the episodes. Oh. So you must have played oh. it as it was going on. Sheriff, what a nice surprise! Okay. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure, or both? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty. But the club's closed. <laughs> Not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. Exactly who we're looking You're for, the... I think. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu. And discretion is our guarantee. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. I only know what goes on because you watched a parody. The, oh, okay. See, so watch one of those, huh? Folks, what do you, you think you're You don't know what happens doing? when you play normally. Okay. You look like you're trying to take a shit. Dang. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. You do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. All right. What's your face? You never smile. You never smile. Dude, she looks so traumatized. Look at How her. How many times do I have to say She it? looks sad. You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You up? Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Banned. Oh, yeah, I'm getting banned for that one. <laughs> Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure. She will remember say. that. Okay. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you... She's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Dang. Tell me, okay. Do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. Fuck you, Georgie. Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> it's the big bad wolf. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. 
No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Hmm. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh. Black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Dang, he just spit on me? And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Oh, this guy, he knows anyway, how to... now what to do with me? He knows how to push my buttons, right? Go on then. Nah, nah, nah. We need, we need more, we need more answers. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, nice. Oh no, fuck! You. Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Hey, that was his fault, dude. Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or anything. Yeah, hey, I can't be. No yeah. one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written? Oh, oh he's, he's spilling the beans. Show me. There is no book. There is a book. That's for you, Hans. We need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna talk first, and if that so doesn't do work, do that's when we'll get aggressive. Okay, we need to talk first. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. TV? All right, let's do it. It's a TV. He could get a new one. Fuck. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. I give him one more shot. One more shot. Come on. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me. Oh, back. what is that? Okay. 
What time are you playing? Well, well what's this? What time are you plan on playing Tekken? Floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. Maybe in about. Key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a Maybe few Maybe in hours. two hours, I think. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'm trying not to I'll hurt him, but if I have to. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. So I got him to talk, huh? Okay, good, good. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable down my ass. What a load of crap. I was gonna give him exactly one more shot and he actually coughed up. Like he There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a he cracked. the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. So we there was a book after all. Okay. If it had let me continue one more time, I would have trashed everything. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. No, but give he, them a stage. He might as give well music. be. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on oh, something. Oh, look at the door, look at the, the door. Girls make the arrangements Who's that? Who's that? Clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Well, I hate Xiaoyu. Don't we all hate Xiaoyu? She is, yeah, she's... Ugh. Shall you? All right, let's see. Yeah, that's right. Georgie. <laughs> he flipped me off. Let me take the phone away from him. Georgie. I guess I can't do anything. Floor safe, examine. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Small stack of bills. Uh, let's examine it first, and then we'll take it. 58. 58. 58. 58. We, we gave uh, freaking Faith. We I gave $58, I think. Just fuck off and Did we not? All right. Now, the only reason why I'm taking that is because I feel like those are the same $58 that we gave Faith in the beginning. No, I don't want If to. I remember correctly. Because we did give her money. I think it was around $58. But, oh well. I'll put those back. Thief. Thief. <laughs> Fine. I'll hey. Hold. Not quite. Not quite. All right, back out. Look at TV. Is there anything like suspicious? No, no, not the, not that. Back out. I want to look at the TV. Uh, Blaze says she's a legit perfect character. What's that? She. Pretty much, she has a yeah. She has quite a lot of options. An evasive stance, good combos. Um, Porgy, it's Georgie Porgy. A good rage art, sorry, rage drive, etc. 
uh, stealing in the name of justice. Sometimes you gotta do what you have to, and I'm just suspicious of that money. Plus, I'm broke too. <laughs> Cosmetics examine that. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Glitter. Actually, now that I think about it, th that money I took might not even help me at all. Unless I need to pay someone eventually, but... Uh, jewelry box. Examine. Lock's been busted open. What about the makeup case? Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Cubby, examine. Let's see, what else am I missing here? Cubby, cosmetics, note, examine note. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. All right, all right. We're making progress here. I wish I could have kept it. Can I keep it? No. <clears throat> Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. That's what Faith said. My name is Nerissa. Nerissa. Well, okay. Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Hmm. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. Come on. This is a murder case. I mean can't. Can't. Emphasis on can't. Slips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. That's what Faith said. First episode, she said the same thing. That's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? Nerissa noticed that. Okay. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. No, they're not sealed. Come on. Sheriff Wolf. There you go. Would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Oh, what what did I say? I could have needed the money. Oh, man. See, I could have. <sighs> this isn't enough, but it's all I've got. That's well. Wait here for a second. See, I knew I should have kept the frickin' roll of dollar bills. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for.
Interesting. Trophy urn made them cry. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's catch up. Hey. Open Arms Hotel. There's a... He looked a bit embarrassed, I think. I don't know. Late evening, open arms hotel at the Bronx, cola. Man, that makes me want soda right now. Mm-mm-mm, 25 cents. It's pretty cheap compared to here. It's very, like a dollar 25. God. All right, um, let's take a look around soda. Let's look at the soda machine. And while I do that, let's see what the chat has to say. So about Xiao Yu, risk reward is heavily in her favor. She's insanely hard to step and she says, I don't have that problem because you just DP her out of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Some characters really don't have that problem. Alright. I don't want to do that yet. I want to look at everything so far. Or right now, I should say. The rooms are anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. Phone. Look at phone. Lost cat. That's I still really sad. Probably repair that. <laughs> right. He says that as he's smoking a cigarette. Okay. <laughs> uh, he has his uh. Keep your pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. He so knows his on. priorities. Mosey on back, and we'll get you set up. Why can't I go upstairs? What's going on up there? Beauty! I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast huh. would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for Beauty me last Beauty will remember time, too. that. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... The troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Hmm. Let's see, Dino Tweedledee ever see Lily with anyone, Faith, or Snow? Let's see, have you seen Snow here? Well, since we're on the topic about Lily, let's keep on asking her about her. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job sometimes but nobody I've recognized I haven't worked here that long though how about a room register or someone named Mr. Smith <laughs> that's all we get here Smith's Jones or Johnson's I think the last ones are jokes understandable those names are pretty common and it's like if how many Smiths are there in the world right John Smith common name uh I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. The crooked man. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look. If this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Who stopped her? 
or... Oh, I, I get it, I get it. She tried, but... I get it. <clears throat> Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Heather. Sorry. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Alright, so we got everything Thanks. out of her. Wait, it'll be better uh, one if more thing? sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna be doing some acting here. Trophy earned. Can I get a fresh set? Okay. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. I'm assuming that's Which what she meant. Which is fine, might. it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? God, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it in my headphones, like all the moans. I can hear the moans in my left ear, right ear, even all the way like around my head. <laughs> why am I, why did I select that? So, room 207 is the suspicious room. Um, which one? Like, where, where are the modes coming from, though? My room is 204, I know that much. But One of them is... Mo okay, so you guys can hear it, too. Okay. Talk to Beauty. Should I just go in my room, or do I need to examine all this? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. I've got to check out all the angles. Never know what might be significant. Well, I guess. All right, good. Yeah. I'll start with this room, and then I'll make my way to the, you know, across the hall, and then to two hundred seven. See anything? Nope. Okay, let's go to the other one. This one. You better be right about this. Going to the one with all those snacks. <laughs> I'll Satisfied? get there. Yep. Is this going to take a lot longer? Remember, you're not even supposed to. She said to I have five up. minutes, right? So am I on a timer that I don't know about? Alright, let's go in this one. This one next. I really don't think I should. Go and do it. After this, I'll go to 207. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Sorry. Jesus Christ, you're gonna get me fired. <laughs> I need this job. <laughs> uh. 
Uh... I have to do my job. It's not always convenient for everyone, but it does have to be done. I should have I should have just busted down the door. <laughs> I ruined it. I ruined their moment. <laughs> 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open mm, every okay. room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? Oh. How could you do oh. this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love it's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me. No. With him? No, 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 no. No, no, beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. I know what goes on no, here. That's not what I meant. Beast, stop this right now. This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- <laughs> Hey! Alright, get my hands on the controller. I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! We don't have to do this. Just calm down and- Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? Is he gonna hit her? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Big B! Tapics. I told you! Stop! Man, I don't want to hurt him, I just kinda... All right, yeah. This is my fault. I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to. Please, no. Understand. I press triangle. Dude. I press triangle. He's probably gonna hit me back, but I I don't. Yeah. I don't want to make things complicated between me and Beauty because I might need her as an ally you later on. Everything. Please. She's my fucking. Oh, I just backed. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. The door, oh, the door busted down. Shit, Big B. What have you done? What is this? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You- you don't want to see this. Alright. I'm glad I didn't hit him. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith. Whoever he is. And then- must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? There might have been some loud noises. I, I don't know. I mean... Loud noises aren't out of the I ordinary. I mean, yeah, I should come. I didn't of hear course. anyone screaming or anything like that, but shouldn't I have? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, 
What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. All right, so here's the deal. So I'm I'm really I glad that I, you know, that I didn't keep on hitting Beast. Because he, now he knows that, you know, his wife's not a prostitute. Just working the front desk, trying to make money. Um, and, uh, yeah. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. So after I examine all this, I need to go to room 204 because that's be in here. the room I haven't gone in. Storybook. Examine. Beautiful. What is that? It's a book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Is she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Or anything important can I go back back no that's it I can't read it though it's a huff and puff I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand apparently not okay bottle he brought wine classy cassette let's put that in the player cassette player for my arrival. All right, let's put that in there. But before we do that, let's look at the bathroom or closet. <sighs> Snow White dress. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her, and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What is it? He could be a crossdresser. He likes it rough. Looks like a snow costume. That was my first this thought. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same yep. dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role playing as a person who really exists, who we know. That's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no. I take that back. Huh? God. Alright, let's uh, put the cassette in. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music. Last night, it was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice okay, about it Okay, so the time. she got I, killed. I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used while to While the song was playing. It would have covered up the sound of the yep. murder. That's kind of haunting to think about. <sighs> Looks like she was lying down when she was... Killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. <laughs> the body. <laughs> I just can't even imagine. Hmm. I think. What? What are that you thinking? She, the guy was recreating the scene on the of the book. Yeah, it reminds me of Snow's coffin. There we go. Bigby. It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. <clears throat> she couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. I'm looking at Beast right now. Here. I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person 
Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah. All right, so I think we got all she the... must have been so scared. I think we got all the evidence here. Sam, cassette player, not much to look at there. So let's go ahead and go to room 204. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Anything I missed? Anything on the ground? No. These controllers are kind of... Talk to her one more time. Better not be hiding anything. Anything else you can tell me? Continue investigation. How do I find out who rents the room? Hmm. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register anymore. Really? I mean, it's. This place is intentionally kind of yeah. anonymous. Yeah, understandable. I keep hearing that. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. All right, moving on. Damn it, get it together, beauty. Be strong. <sighs> Is there anything else? Dress, trash can. How do I get out of here? <sighs> Dude, these controllers are terrible. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Let's try walking from here. God. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can't leave until I thoroughly investigate everything. <sighs> Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Huh. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were <clears throat> acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. Thank you, yeah. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. That's when he kills, yeah. okay. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. We got a note, we got a letter. Pick that up. That's snow. Are those okay. pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What it's is a picture? It? It's <gasps> Crane. What a f ho oh, oh. No, I knew I knew he was suspicious. Trophy earned no respect for the okay. 
That was the end of the episode. Oh my goodness. Oh. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? Dang, okay. Crane, I was suspicious I was suspicious of Crane since the first episode. He just had He has that look of a heel. Like he 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 has that look, you know. Um How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? 60 you and 60% of players sympathize with him. Ugh. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 37.6% of players forced him to talk. That's pretty low. So other people, like seven, wow, okay. Did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 91% of players let her make her own decision. So yeah, how did you, how did you handle Georgie Porgy? What a name. You and 69% of players didn't hit Georgie. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to hit him. He, I, there was no reason for me to hit him. I could I could trash the place, but hitting him, I don't think it would have accomplished anything. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. So yeah, no reason for me to keep hitting him. Oh, man. Okay. All right. That was a good episode. Looking forward to the next one. Uh, Wolf Among Us episode 2 man Crane I guess now that I think about it maybe I should have paid more attention to him and potentially listed him as a suspect because now that I think about it you couldn't ask the mirror about Crane that, that wasn't a choice. You only had the Woodsman, Tweedledee, um, his brother, I believe. But you never could ask him about Crane. And Snow did mention that Crane is kind of... You know, Snow, Snow doesn't like Crane, so... Oh, maybe those are just some hidden hints that the game was giving and I didn't catch on, uh, catch on to, but we know now. <clears throat> we know now. Man. So does that mean that Crane killed Faith? I'm assuming that it sort of implies that he's the killer. Hmm. 